So let's get underway with the activation. So let me just move my stuff out of the way so we can uh, get some stuff. So what I'm gonna do is start off with the, with the EM1 and I'm gonna just grab my, my container here and I'm just gonna get my EM1 out. Here we go. And literally, as I said, it's it's just under a cup, 6.4 ounces. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop that in here and literally go right up to about there, which is just under a cup. And then I'm gonna pour that in here. There we go. Okay. Now you can use the same containers. It's, it's not a, it's not a big difference. This stuff is a bit, uh, a bit more glucose if you want a bit more uh, things. So I want to use this container here, but this is a bit slower to things. It's got a beautiful, beautiful smell. This is a black strap molasses, is what it's called. And so what I'm going to do is I've just got my thing there. And I can see where the cup is, and as you can see, it comes out in a really thick, gooey. There we go. So again, that's just under. I need to clean that up when I've finished because it's a bit messy and dribbling down the front. What I'm going to do is pour that in here, like so. Okay, there it goes. Nice, slow, gluttonous, sticky. You don't want to get this anywhere because it just is really sticky. Okay, so that will probably do us there. It's just under. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to top this up with water. So I'm going in here. I've got the hose just sitting here. And literally that simple. I'm just going to top this up. Uh, to the top here. Let's go let the bubbles go down a bit. There we go. Just topping it up. Okay, I'm just going to let it sit for a second, top the bubbles up. Lots of bubbles coming up, so what I'm just doing is just spraying gently in there. If you do it a bit more gently, you won't get as many bubbles, but the bubbles just go down as you top it up. I'm just basically wiping the bubbles out with the water there. Hey, I'm just giving it a bit of a stir. You've got a lot of molasses stuck to the bottom, and so what I'm doing is just giving it a bit of a stir to the top just before I finalise the water and uh, get rid of some of these bubbles. You'll get a lot of bubbles when you're putting water at the top here which is fine. And what I'm just gonna do now is just top it up with the water uh, that we've got. We can go from there, try and do this gently this time. And there we go. Got a gentle stream of water going in there. Just in this case, bringing it up to just below the lid. So with the lid, the, the lid is literally just there to stop stuff getting in. This is going to vent, so bubbles are going to come up and, and air is going to want to come out. So don't put it on tight. You can put a cheesecloth over the top or something. It's literally just to stop stuff getting in there more than it is there. So I'm just going to screw this on lightly and then it's good to go. Now it's often worth just scribbling on the date you did this. You've got to use this within 45 days. So in the next seven days, it's going to, it's going to ferment and it's going to activate, okay? And so the seven day mark, um, what will happen is this will go from this dark brown, as you can see, it's a little dark brown. It'll go to more as an orange brown and it should smell sweet, um, bittersweet. And, and it'll be much more like the original EM uh, in terms of color. And then the other thing is, and in your, in your activation kit, there'll be a, a, some strips of pH paper. You dip them in and you're looking for between a 3.2 and a 3.6 pH. And that tells you it's absolutely spot on. Now, a couple of things you need to just be aware of, temperature. So if you do this at 62 degrees or higher, that's the best temperature for it. If it's cooler than that, let's say you're doing it 40 degrees in your garage or whatever you're doing it, it will take a little longer. So it might take you nine, 10 days to, to get the activation, get the pH right. It's the pH measure, which is the real indication that, that you've got the activation spot on. And so if you use a new container, then you won't have anything in it. If you're using an existing container, you know, you gotta make sure there's nothing in there um, because it really does uh, increase. It's a live liquid microbes, it's live product in here. And so basically you just sit that on the shelf and give it seven days and it's ready to go. So the beauty about this product is when you use it, you use it exactly like you use EM. So you put one ounce into a gallon of water and use it. So this gets diluted again and mixed in with your water. The difference between this product and the activated product is the microbes are just super excited and ready to go. 
So this takes a little bit of time when you just dilute it straight away. But what you do is you same dilution here as you do with, with your water and can you put one ounce into a, into a gallon of water and then basically put it on your, uh, on your foliar spray, on your, your lawn, on your plants, anywhere you want. But the important thing here is you can't just put this straight on as it is. This, you've got a whole bunch of applications in here. You've got to use it by 45 days. So if you're doing it every couple of days, you'll be getting through this in no time at all. Thanks very much. It's been seven days now since we did the activation. So what I'm going to do now is I've just grabbed a piece of a pH paper, you know, which is a strip effectively. What I'm going to do is I'm going to dip it in. So I'm going to open up the, the bottle and you can see the... Um, all the microbe activity in there. And uh, that's the yeast, calm yeast, I think it's called. I'm gonna just drip, dip this in, pull it out. And I'm looking at the color now. And what I'm looking for is between 3.2 and 3.6. But realistically, on this scale here, what I'm looking for is it to be bang in the middle of those two. And that's looking about as good as it gets in terms of what that pH plus. So so the pH in exactly the right spot, our activated EM is ready to go. Now remember, now you've got the gallon of activated EM1, you're going to dilute this in water with one ounce to one gallon. Okay, so you've got 128 ounces of product here, you've got 128 gallons that you can put on your products. You can put it everywhere. You can put it on your vegetables, you can put it on your lawn, you can put it in your gardens everywhere. But this is ready to go.